in this video we will be discussing about uh, computational tree logic ctl so it is a kind of it is an extension of your uh, proportional logic and here it, uh, it is also called as an branching time logic see as we already discussed in this uh, kripke's model like uh, few situations might be true for the current scenario but in future it may vary so this computational tree logic actually deals with the timeline or a structure that is represented in terms of a tree like structure something like this a starts from a root node will be having a lot and lot of branches like each branches you can take it as a decision so when i start from this i can take either this path or this path if i am taking this path and that leads to another two decisions you can consider it as an your life decisions okay so this this is called an timing tree so timing tree like structure where the future is not determined is called your computational tree logic so you are going to define a world in a infinite tree like structure and based on that we are going to find uh, the validity of each statement or uh, each proportional logic uh, expression as per the current scenario okay so that is called computational tree, tree logic like you, you have to assume a tree like structure like this a infinite non deterministic tree structure so non deterministic means like we may take any branch and it flows from starting root node to end we cannot go in a backward structure like uh, in kripke's model we have the uh, graph structures right so here it is represented in uh, in terms of your tree structure okay so in order the representation for it like always we go with this backwards normal form structure for the representation so it is quite backwards normal form structure for the representation of your computational tree or ctl structure is a formula can be written as it might be either your true or false all the predicate statements or you can have negation of any formula um all the connectives as your predicate log uh, as your proportional logic works here conjunction disjunction implies and bidirectional conditions so all these things are similar to the talk your proportional logic statement along with that we have special criterias like uh, we have special symbols we can call it as in symbols okay so first i'll just list out the symbols then i'll uh, say the meaning of each symbol okay so we can have it as a x of a formula or uh, e x of any formula or uh, a f of any formula or uh, e f of any formula or you can write it as a g of any formula or e g of any formula a until condition pi union pi or e pi union pi okay so this is your back as normal normal form structure now uh, till this it is all clear right so till this it is uh, similar to that of your proportional logic statement okay true or false so sorry this is your false condition true or false or the propositional form variables or any formula negated or conjunction disjunction bidirectional condition or implies okay so all these things are known now here you have two common terms in all it might be either a or e so you should know the meaning of what is a and what is e okay so a actually describes along all paths okay like uh, for all criteria okay in universal quantifier of predicate logic we have for all structure right similarly here you have for all it is called as inevitability okay so inevitability for all criteria and what does e means at least one so along at least one path so here it is all about path the reason is we are going to speak uh, we are speaking about the tree structure okay starting from root node we may have n number of paths and what you are going to discuss here is all the paths 
Okay, for example, when I take A, A describes for all the path. E describes at least one path has a solution. Okay, so this is called possibility. This is called inevitability. This is your possibility. A describes all path and E describes at least one path. Okay, and now we'll come in, we'll, we'll see the second pair. So along with this A, you have either X or A for G or union criteria. Okay, so here X actually means next. Okay, so A X means the next, like when I consider a tree structure, when I say A X, this is your X1, A X1 or A X of X1 actually means these two variables. Okay, the direct path that are connected and A means all the paths, all the nodes that are connected. It doesn't always need to be a binary. You may have n number of paths too. So n number of nodes that are directly connected to X1 is represented as AX. So X means next state. And similarly, F means some future state. And G G means globally. Globally means universally. And U is until. So I'll explain about all these things with an example. Okay, so as of now, just note down the properties and how to draw a pass tree, how to write a valid uh, well-formed formulas and all. Then I'll take one example and I'll show you how to derive the validity of each formulas. Okay, so now as uh, as per this description, it is known that you either A or E, it doesn't actually occur separately. It has to be accompanied with either X, F, G or with this until criteria. Okay, so as it is I didn't just, uh, as it is seen, see all your A X. Similarly, your X A G or U cannot come alone. Okay, it cannot occur without any of this A or E. And similarly, A or E cannot occur without any all these criteria. Okay, and here this until criteria is actually worked with binary. It is a binary function. So we can say that from this X two X one to X three, we are going to consider. So that is your until criteria for all the nodes from X, uh, X5 to X3. So that is the meaning of it. Or for the, uh, there is at least one node from X1 to X3 will be considered. Okay, so that is your until. So this is a binary operator. And reminding things in all, it is all a unary operator. And when it comes to precedence, all unary operator has the highest precedence like your negation, AG, EG, AF, EF, and AX, EX, KU, sorry, all this comes under your starting. Okay, so this is called as AU and this is your EU criteria. Okay, and next you have added or implies bidirectional condition, then you are AU and EU. So this is the precedence of the operators in your CTL. And how does a well-formed formula in your CTL actually looks like? It has to be follow. It has to follow your Barker's normal form structure. So when I write a formula like this, A G Q implies E G R. Is that valid? So here, uh, your uh, Q and R are your variables or your labeling criteria or anything you can consider. So A G E G implies or the operator. So here Q implies, implies actually works with two elements and EG is a unary operator and that operates on R. So here Q implies EG of R is correct and EG of this is also correct. So this is your well-formed formula. Like when I write it as A of P union EF of R. So EF actually operates on a single operator and until criteria actually works with two operator and AU is allowed. So this is also your well-formed formula. Consider a criteria like this, AF, G, R. Is it a well-formed formula? Either EF is valid or AF is valid or EG is valid or AG is valid. 
AFG is not a well-formed formula. Okay, and similarly consider this criteria. See, it is your AU formula, but AU actually works like until criteria like this. So you should not have an AND operator in between. So if you just write AU of this, this is valid. Okay, but this is not a well-formed formula. This is how you have to follow it. Okay, always know how to represent your formula. So that is why we have to follow your back as normal form structure. So this phi actually represent it is a formula. It can be combined with AG, EG or anything like this. Or when you want to represent your AU, you have to represent it like this. Okay. Now I'll show you in past tree structure. When it is in, like whenever a tree, <clears throat> a formula is given, we have to draw the past tree structure. Like uh, let us take this formula. Negation P union E of E. Ex, P and Q until negation P. That's it. Okay. So let us draw a pass tree for it. So first, how will you evaluate this formula? First, uh, whatever inside the bracket has the highest priority. So I'll just uh, take this as the highest precedence one. And inside that, I have to do it for a x of p and q. So p and q is your normal operator, right? And is an operator that has p and q as your operate. So p and q is done. And a x is a unary operator. Sorry, e x is a unary operator attached with this. Done. So e x, p and q until negation p so negation p and this is your eu okay so eu actually operates on this is one half and this is another half of it so eu done now next you have so all those things are completed right now i have to do it for this it is p negation p Negation P, AX actually it is an unary operator, operates on negation P, it is done. So this is also done and this is also done. Now it is, has to be evaluated as AU and this is one branch and this is another branch. Okay, so this is how you have to draw a pass tree structure for any of the given CTL formula, CTL way of formula. Okay, so the last portion is how to find the semantic entanglement, like how to check whether the uh, given formula is valid or not. Okay, one small example, I'll show you the meaning of what is AG, EG, AF, EF and all. Okay, so one simple example, I'm just going, not going to mention any of the values inside. So let us take a tree structure like this. As I said, uh, this actually operates on, it is an infinite tree structure. Okay, non-deterministic infinite tree. I take it as x1, x2, x3, and all, all the names over there. Okay, so now this is an example. Now, when I want to mention it as ag, okay, some ag of p or something like this, a model here is represented over this structure with the relationship and the labeling criteria in each. Okay, it is similar to that of your Kripke's model, but Kripke's model is uh, fixed over a graph structure. And here it may go in a non deterministic Sometimes it works in your fixed pattern also. And sometimes your uh, tree structure that is represented might be an infinite tree structure too. Okay, so now when I say AG of P, it actually means along all path globally okay so ag of p it can be written like this when i say in the model 
from my state when i write it as semantically entails ag of p it means that oh, i don't have x node right i write it as x1 so from x1 all along all path so from x1 along all path globally should as this label p okay then only it gets satisfied so that is your global criteria and when i write it as ag it means that all the path should have it okay so starting from that node whatever node that is attached to it whatever children know that comes till the end it should have the same label it should have the label p inside it then only we can say that this is satisfied and similarly when i just write it as eg of p it means that one path one path start from x1 till the end if it should have p so i can have this path p p p all this if every path, every uh, node in this path has p inside then we can say that eg of p is satisfied okay so that is your eg criteria so g means globally when i say all global all the node should have it from that particular node okay so that is your tree structure when i start from a node whatever node that comes like you have to consider that as a root node and whatever the sub tree that is attached to it it should have the same value and similarly eg we just take a single path from that root node and all the nodes in the path should have that value okay now i think ag and eg could be clear for you next one is af okay so what is f actually means f means some future node right some feature set should have it so af means all the path okay so uh, i just take this structure something like this okay and i'm just uh, trying for p in all the levels at least one node should have this p okay so that is your af in all the path of the feature state you should have p okay so at least in each and every level one node should have this value that we are uh, checking for so that is af so what might be ef ef is at least one node if it has in future if i start from this x node in future if any node at least one node has p it is acceptable okay similarly you can check for the remaining criteria ax is all next node and ex is some next node okay and one more thing like what is in sub formula sub formula is something like when you cut the tree some way at each level when i'm just going to cut it over here or cut it over here or cut it over here all the left out portions will be a formula see when i cut it over here p is a formula here p and q is a sub formula when i cut it over here negation p is a sub formula okay so each level when you cut a tree all the subdivisions that you borrowed over here right so all those things will be the sub formula for the given formula given ctl formula okay so i hope you understand the meaning of what is your ctl thank you